This video is to show how to set up a solar heater for your pool using your existing pump and filter. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did it last year. Okay, this is really easy to do. All you have to do is, I'm going to show you this connection right here. This is my DE filter, and then the pump is right next to it, as you can see down here. You can see that the pump has a connector with a T in it. Okay, the T is a basically about uh, a one-inch PVC pipe coming off a two-inch T. Okay, and then I branch it up so it comes up over here. I have a valve in it so I can shut it off. Okay, that's so that the water that's going back into the pool can be shut off here so that I can turn off the solar heater if I want to. Okay, then it comes up over here, routes around here, around the front of the shed door, and then comes down over here and goes out through the side of the shed door. I mean through the side of the shed there. Now, as I come around to the outside, you can see here it's a little bit uh, a little overgrown here, but you can see that the pipe here comes out of the shed and then goes down underneath the gate and then back up to this header. Okay, now the header here takes the one inch PVC. I have a bunch of T's here. One, two, three, four, five of them. Okay, and this is half inch black tubing. Now the half inch black tubing I just used a connector here to connect it to the a screw connector uh, right into the T. Okay, now this will this is for expansion if I need to, which I might do later on this year. Put five more of these because I like to get even more heat out of this. Okay, so right now you can see that this goes all the way around the edge of the pool. Okay, it's on the fence. Now over by the slide, I'll show you in a second, but the connection over there is relatively simple as well because I have another header at that side and then another inch piece of the tubing still coming around here around the side of the pool. There's heaven on with pie straps all the way around. Okay, so this goes all the way around the pool. So this is in the sun all day and then I have another header here. Now this header here dumps out at the top, goes through the fence and then down to that pipe that goes back up to the top which I split so I have some water if I want and I got a valve there to let the top of the pool have water or I have this black tubing going around which I loop around to the side of the slide that just dumps the water back in. Okay, so you can see the water kind of trickling in there. Now, the beauty of this system is that it uses the existing pump so all you have to do is buy the existing, uh, you need to just buy some PVC pipe and some black tubing which is relatively inexpensive. I don't remember how much I paid for it but it's not too bad. Now, I've got this little thermometer here which is a uh, infrared thermometer. Now I'm just going to touch the pool, okay? So I don't know if you can see that, but it says 72.3 degrees the pool water. Okay, now if I touch the, if I touch it to the water coming out of the solar heater, it's up to 78.3. Okay, so it's 78.3 going into the pool and uh, 72 coming out. So so far this morning, when I started doing this. Um, it's about 4 o'clock now in the afternoon, but basically the water was 68 degrees and now it's up to almost 73 degrees and 78 and that, at around 12 noon it was coming out of there at about 80 degrees. So you can see that the water coming back into the pool, now granted it's just a dribble but I can increase that uh, slightly. Um, but uh, if you increase it too much then it comes out the same temperature but normally it's about five degrees higher if I put more headers I mean if I put another set of headers and another five strands of black tubing it would get even even hotter so that's how you just hook up your um, what you have to do is tee off your main pump. I don't know every single configuration there is for every single pool out there. I'm sure there's quite a few. But basically, that's how you get your uh, pool up to a good temperature. Now, it's Memorial Day um, 2009, and I've already got my pool up to almost 73 degrees. Um, if you have a solar cover on top of it, 
um, that would help out a great deal. I used to have a solar cover, but that uh, started to get old and ripped, so I don't have one yet. I'll probably get another one of those at some point because that helps protect it at night. When the temperature goes down at night, um, that keeps the temperature from dropping too much. And then in the morning on a sunny day, when that solar heater starts kicking back in, it's extremely uh, useful to increase the temperature of the pool. So, hope you enjoyed this and uh, good luck setting up your own.